We have reestablished contact with Hugh Hewitt. Uh, Hugh, you'll never believe what a lovely lead-in uh, I wrote to you tonight, including uh, talking about the first time I laid eyes on your legendary former boss, Fred Fielding, in the White House where you were assistant counsel. Uh, with that in mind, uh, should Donald Trump make the hire of his pre-presidency when looking for a White House counsel and hire a man or woman to whom he can say, keep me above reproach? Absolutely. And Don McCann is the name I am hearing. He's a partner at Jones Day and a former FEC commissioner. And no one is Fred Fielding or Dick Hauser when it comes to being a fellow who's served three different presidents in that job. But you need someone who knows the ethics laws very, very well. But also in that office, Brian, in the White House Counsel's office, they vet all of the would-be Supreme Court nominees. And what I started to say in my elegantly prepared remarks, I think that must have been a Michigan fan who did that, Brian, it is that week that things happen like that, <laughs> is that there's a list of 20 people on his desk, uh, President-elect Trump, but from Mike Lee at 46 up to Diane Sykes at 58, and yet Don Willett at 50, and, and uh, Margaret Ryan at 52. Those are three presidential terms difference between a Mike Lee or a substitute Ted Cruz and Diane Sykes. To me, the much larger issue for the White House counsel is going to be, who do they nominate to fill that Scalia vacancy? To me, the much bigger issue right now is the president-elect invited Mitt Romney and James Mattis out to, to uh, New Jersey. Uh, this came. Uh, Jack Keane, another retired general, declined to be interviewed for Secretary of Defense. I think if Romney and Mattis come in, this is a big issue. If they come in, I think people like uh, 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 General Allen and General uh, uh, Kelly of the Marine Corps, maybe General Stanley McChrystal, the, probably the greatest combatant commander of, uh, of the last 10 years, along with Mattis, maybe they consider DHS. To me, these issues are so much bigger than whether he has a Turnberry golf course impacted by windmills that I do think the media is a little bit off course here in focusing on what might happen if Doug McCann or whoever's White House counsel doesn't do a good job versus staff in this administration in a time of war and filling courts for the next 15 years, I mean 35 years, 40 years. Uh, Hugh, we have a minute left for you to be brilliant because of the time lost in satellite lag. Uh, what, and I, and I mean this respectfully, what attribute do you see in Donald Trump that tells you he's going to go out and get an aggressive White House counsel? Uh, he's, he's been lawyered up for years. Uh, this is simply the experience that comes from uh, being in litigation for years as a developer. Developers, and I've been one of them, I've represented developers for years, they hire the very best lawyers because they know, they know the very best lawyers keep them out of jail, save them a lot of money. A bad settlement is better than a good lawsuit, often as I think he decided on the Trump University, he believes it was a good lawsuit, but a bad settlement in his views is better. So past experience for a developer says, go and get the best counsel you can. And I think Fred Fielding will be saying the same thing in his ear. Hugh Hewitt, thank you very much. Hugh mentioned Michigan, failed to mention his alma mater, Harvard, lost this past weekend to arch rival Yale. <laughs> oh, brutal. Maybe on your next appearance, Hugh. Thanks very much. Thanks for being a good sport.